And what creates a ledge is a straight file tip cut into a curved root. So if you're not if you're not pre-curving your files and you're pushing them, you're going to create a ledge. And once you start to create a ledge, um, it's tough to remove it. You have to bypass it. You have to really curve the instruments. You have to be even extra careful once you've created a ledge so you can open up get deep shape. And then at this point, you know, fitting the cone is going to be a little bit of a challenge. You may even have to fit it short if you can't get it around that bend because you might be better off having a bulky cone down to that point and then pushing it the rest of the way. But once you start a ledge, it's, uh, you know, it causes a problem. And what creates a perforation? Well, it's a straight, it's the same thing, a straight file tip cut into a curved root with stubborn determination. It means you're not accepting reality and you're going further. And so that's what you end up. So if you, if you don't recognize that you create a ledge and you want to ignore that and keep plowing forward, this is what you end up with. And so let's consider rotary versus hand instrumentation. This is a typical root canal system in a bicuspid, let's say. And the middle and coronal thirds of the root canal preparation are very simple. You can get that, you know, people can get that very easily. It's the apical third that's the big challenge. And so that's where you want to use pre-curved files, where you can kind of just gently, passively slide and slip these uh, instruments into these ramifications, picking away a different spot each time, just fortuitously by random chance. And then if you're ideal and you're lucky, this is what you end up with in your shape. You get deep shape and you have all the lateral ramifications cleaned out. So on our best days, we get that. You know, and I'm not sure how often. I, I get that, but if you sp if, if you have a case and you spend enough time in it, you flush it with irrigant, you get close to getting this. On our good days, we may not get all of it. We may have a little uh, isthmus that's entombed, but it still probably won't compromise the result. On our average days, we might have a tertiary or minor ramification we can't get into just because it's just you know too complicated to get in there, even though we try our best uh, chance. But the idea is we're still trying. We're eliminating most of the space, the gross pathogens, and still able to, uh, you know, accomplish predictable treatment. In our bad days, you know, if we're rushing it or we have a patient backed up right after the next one, we don't spend enough time in the case, this is what we end up with. So with all rotary techniques, you're going to have a lot of bad days. 